Final Cut Pro for the iPad has just had a huge update. We can now record voiceover directly into Final Cut Pro. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the best settings and the best microphone to use for your iPad. So if you've updated Final Cut Pro, you'll now see this new icon here at the top, which shows a little microphone. So if we click that, this is where you can basically record your voiceover, but there are a few more settings that you need to know about. So first of all, you'll have this meter here and the record button, but if you click the three dots here, this is where you get your additional settings. So you're able to control the input microphone, the input gain, we've got a meter, which is super important to make sure you don't peak your audio. We've got a countdown timer, the ability to mute the timeline audio when recording. So that means if you don't have an external microphone or headphones, it's gonna stop the playback of that audio so it doesn't get recorded within your microphone. And then we have a pre-record buffer. But if you wanna record audio using the built-in microphone on your iPad, to be honest, it's not gonna be the best. So I recommend that you use this microphone. This is the Studio Series SL600 microphone, and it's by far the best microphone to use with Final Cut Pro for your iPad for three reasons. Number one, this microphone is USB-C. So that means with just one cable, you can plug it into your iPad and it's good to go. Nothing else to install. So all you have to do is tap the microphone icon there, tap the three dots, and then you can see it says input SL600 USB mic. If it doesn't show that as the selected microphone, you can simply tap this here and then change from your iPad microphone to the SL600. Number two, and this is a really important and overlooked one. Because the iPad Pro no longer has a headphone output, you can't monitor the audio when you're recording. Even if you do have USB-C headphones, you're now using this input as a microphone input. So because the SL600 has a headphone output, you can simply plug that in, and then when you record, you can monitor your audio as you're recording, and then when you wanna play back, you can hear your audio through your headphones. And number three, because it is a USB-C powered microphone and it's been designed to work with things like the MacBook Pro and the iPad, you no longer need an external recorder or phantom power to power the mic. So now let me show you how you can record. So simply tap the three buttons. Let's just make sure it is on SL600. I'm gonna talk into it to make sure my audio levels are good now. I can control the gain from here or I can control the gain from the microphone itself. So I'm gonna turn it down a little bit here. One, two, three, four, five. And you wanna make sure your audio levels are around minus 12 to minus six. So if I talk here, this sounds about good. I'm gonna set the channel to mono one. The input gain's looking good. Um, I'm gonna have monitor turned on, and then we're good to record. So I can simply tap out of this, hit record, and we're good to go. This is a test with the SL600 microphone from Studio Series with the iPad Pro, and this is how you can record perfect audio into your iPad Pro and Final Cut Pro for the very first time. So now we're done, I'm gonna hit stop, play that back and let's hear how it sounds. This is a test with the SL600 microphone from Studio Series with the iPad Pro. And this is how you can record perfect audio into your iPad Pro and Final Cut Pro for the very first time. So there we go, how good does that sound? It's so good that we can now record professional voiceover directly into our Final Cut Pro projects on the iPad. Now I'll make sure to leave a link in the description if you wanna check out the SL600 microphone and if you want one of these keyboard covers for iPad Pro for your Magic Keyboard, I'll put a link in there as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.